Grandfather, I need to have a little chat with you today. There are a lot of people who see these videos, hundreds, thousands. I understand that. And so does Robbie, the channel. There is something I need to get clear with you, however. This is advanced work. Granted, sometimes those of you who are advanced doing this work, it doesn't seem that advanced because I've been trying to include the general public and those of you who are just casually interested or new to these subjects in general. But it does assume, and you will find that same assumption on the written blogs as well, that go all the way back to 2005, to say nothing of the books, eh? It does assume that you are not a beginner. It assumes that you've been on your spiritual path for some time and you have learned some of the basics. You have learned how to tell what is for you and what is not for you. You have learned the difference between your opinion and your physical feelings, which are the representatives of your instinct. I have spoken and this person, Rabbi, who is channeling me now, has spoken at length on the physical written blogs about these matters. There has been a great deal of comment on physical feelings, not only on the videos, but especially on the written blogs, specifically Benevolent Magic and a Mystical Man's World, and to a degree on Explorer Race, all on blogspot.com, and a great deal of teaching about physical feelings and about the general approach to instinct to try to teach you all ways that you will know what is for you and what is for others. Not good, not bad, just what is for you and what is for others. Because sometimes what's bad for you is good for others. And sometimes what's good for you is not good for others. It depends as different times. Generally speaking, however, you will hear only things that are benevolent here, and you will read only things that are benevolent on the blogs. Now, absolute clarity. This is not a place for beginners. If you're just starting out, I recommend you go to other places and learn basics. Read basic books about spirituality and New Age things. It's important to expose yourself to these things. The reason for this sudden burst of candor is because of an accumulation of questions from well-intended people. The latest one is from someone you've seen comments on here before many times, this time asking many, many questions. But they are all based in the basic understanding, the things that everyone learns when they first start exploring the world of New Age spirituality, as it's called, though it's really ancient. And, generally speaking, spirituality and the world of holistic understanding. I felt I needed to say this to you now. It doesn't mean that if you're new to these things, you can't go and read the blogs, that you can't watch these videos and get something out of it. But it does mean that those of you who write questions to Robbie, this channel, or ask questions to be answered by grandfather or any other being that Robbie channels, it does not mean that you're going to get personal responses anymore. This channel, meaning Robbie, is serving the needs of hundreds and thousands of people. 
So such responses will not be possible in the future. I'm not going to state the name of the person who sent these uh, myriad of questions. All right? So no blaming. Remember, always try to create from a benevolent place. More about that next year. You'll find out more in the next video, too. Always try to manifest from a benevolent place. That's what next year is all about. Choosing to manifest from a benevolent place in your life or manifesting from someplace cynical and depressed. I think you want to manifest from someplace benevolent. I welcome you all to come here, and I know Robbie feels the same way. However, if you need to know about the basics, you might want to go other places as well. Good life.